Hey guys, so in this video we decided to answer the most asked, most requested questions about running a streetwear brand. Yeah, and since you know we moved into the new office, we have a bunch of new people working here, stuff is changing, so there's so much to show you, so let's get going. Okay, so one hoodie that we were planning to release but didn't release was this one. So this is an embossed Husha hoodie. It's quite interesting, it's basically pressed from the back. But we're not really satisfied with that, so we never dropped it. This was one of the graphic hoodies that we were planning to drop, but didn't make the cut. Yeah. We have cargo pants that we're working on. Okay, so this is how it looks like before we start actually putting stuff together. So these are only a couple of the options that we've had to choose from. It doesn't end. And then from these sketches, we designed two pairs of pants, one each, Lucas and me. And now they're putting them together. Um, so this is my version. So yeah. basically Maddie put together this kind of like a mock-up. Yeah. Better idea of the sizing for the pockets, for the zips. Just kind of, you know, plan it a little bit better. I have a feeling that my cargos are going to be better. So stick around and you'll see. You'll see. Another new venture that we're doing is exploring women's wear and what pieces we can drop. Because as a girl myself, I found that, you know, if I want to dress in Broken Planet, I'm not going to be wearing hoodies every single day. I want some cuter pieces and especially on brand trips, I would want to wear Broken Planet, but I don't want to wear a shirt every single time. So we've decided to start um, trying out new women's wear pieces. Which is also fun for me, like, yeah. you know, I'm probably not going to be wearing <laughs> this as much but you know i, I kind of have an idea of what would look cool because obviously we want to make them look as different as possible yeah. as unique you know we're kind of like um, reinventing the yeah. regular shapes and like the regular yeah. products and on that note we have expanded our design team with olivia Hello. so <laughs> there's more hands now yes. we're also potentially looking for fashion intern yes. so Big big design team it's exactly definitely, definitely expanding things because exactly. in terms of the, the the items we're trying to sample right now it's just so many yeah so it's a bit can get a bit too much sometimes for the team because yeah. we sometimes we just rush into the room i want to make this and you know, like yeah. they need like five different yeah. items to make exactly before Lots that so, you know. at the mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah so right now they're developing um a mini skirt for the fleece top so it can be a little cute set so you know, it's just fun. I feel like every week we could film these videos and every week you're gonna see new products. So yeah. keep on watching these videos and you'll know everything we're creating. Okay, so the first step in our design process is gathering the inspo. So usually what we do, we create Pinterest boards with like different like environments, different ideas, kind of to set the mood for the drop. We kind of start with like sketching some ideas inside in the colors. Um, and that goes into like more into brainstorming stage and the next stage is actually putting everything on paper start like you know um, sketching different concepts and like basically bouncing at each of each other's ideas there's always 50 50 or at least someone adds like really big changes or like something like there's even now like just before jc came in filming i literally sent lucas a design and he sent me a design so we both get like a fresh outlook and we play a lot with colors mm -hmm. because you would be surprised some colors just do not like work with graphic prints so once we narrow down the concepts we order samples those samples usually take about two weeks to make and once we receive the samples we usually make around five of them in different designs then we choose two samples and then we basically order the fabric after that which takes about a month to produce which is bulk fabric like a larger quantity once the fabric is done uh, we'll put the order uh, for production and so the total process of production is two months plus the creation process. I would say about three months to probably produce a collection. So when so someone says time. drop more hoodies in this, like you know when we do like yeah. a, a design, they're like, why can't you just drop more? It's because we're not using blanks. Like they're not just sitting there. We exactly. have to, you know, make sure that everything is also like slow and like we're not rushing anything. It's like a huge process. Okay, so now we've explained everything on our personal design process, but there's a whole other design side to all of the new products that we're creating. So for the garment designing, we actually always come up with a big fat mood board with a lot of notes and a lot of creative direction and visions. And then we kind of know exactly what products we want to drop. 
And it's way more detailed here because we have to be really specific on what we like, you know, what we don't want as well, which I think is even more important because yeah. the team actually goes and sketches a lot of things. But they're actually going to explain how the process works better than us because they have the knowledge. Uh, they studied this thing for years now. So. Exactly. So I feel like our design process starts by looking at a mood board that like Indre or like Lucas have created. So they'll give us a load of reference images. Yeah. And then they'll talk about like pieces that they want to develop. So the cargo trousers is something we've been working on for ages. Yeah, it's kind of been in the works for a while. We've kind of looked at lots of inspiration and references, kind of to, to figure out what like what's out there already and what we can do differently, and what we can put together to make a completely unique new product piece, that's yeah. unique that will also be really complementary with the other pieces we have, mm. like hoodies. Um, example and we'll reference a lot of like physical pieces as well so like vintage pieces or like um kind of designer pieces that we really like or that lucas and Joe really like and then we'll take like details from that and translate it into sketches and like sampling and all of that kind of thing the next kind of stage is then we'll develop a pattern for that like a paper pattern mm -hmm. um we'll kind of maybe reference other samples to get an idea of what the shape should be like and then we'll also look into fabrics, go, go fabric shopping. An example of like a kind of process would be, so you do a, a kind of sketch. Um, so we were speaking about, we wanted to do like a cargo skirt, school kind of thing. So we'd start with a sketch, then we'd make a pattern. So these are all the pattern pieces. And then that's like a first sample of everything. And it's very personal to like Lucas and Indra and like what they, want to wear and they really know their customer so everything that we make it's almost like Indre will say we like for the skirt for example they're going to LA and they're thinking about outfits that they want to wear with also the Broken Planet hoodie so. And after the sample is finalised which um, will kind of be after fittings and everything like that we'll get pack ready to send off to our manufacturer where they'll take the sample and the pattern and then make their own version of it which they'll send back to us and then from there we can then decide if it's something that's going to go into production. So that kind of sums up our design process from the initial sketches to the final product. We're constantly kind of brainstorming, we're constantly having meetings, discussions with all of us. Um, this is kind of every day pretty much um, looking at what's trending at the moment trial and error with you know sampling stuff if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't then we kind of go back to the drawing board but it's constantly discussing we don't really know if something works until we put it out but if something's massively trending then we'll kind of jump on it if it works with a drop um, but we're always experimenting with new content so there's always new styling content um, but yeah, let us know what you guys want to see. If you want to see more of the 4pm in the office, let us know if you want to see more styling. We happen to be doing a shoot planning today actually. So we're just going to show you how that looks like in terms of like planning the shoes, the locations, the models, everything. So up to Joha now. So as you can see, we have the massive Myra board for the Tenerife shoot for our basics. I start off mainly with location scouting and then I go to like hotels, there'd be bees nearby and then after all of that's done you go to outfits, see what colours go well with like the basic colourways, then you look for different pieces but then obviously once I have everything like all planned out together we start talking about content and that's when Denita comes in. Once we have everything planned out in terms of like where we want to shoot and what type of space and like vibe we want from the shoot that's when i can start looking into the type of content that we're gonna actually be making out there specifically like tiktok video stuff um but yeah it's already we've from what i can see we've really got a nice idea of like the vibe of the space so i already know what kind of tiktoks we're gonna try and make out there so generally with modeling or models in the shoots we obviously scout them through like instagram tiktoks but obviously with the basic shoots, we just use us, the team, Indre, Lucas, socials team, and then yeah. And we all of us go together, we create content as we go. And like most of the trip is shoot days. So every 
second cuts when we're there. Okay guys, so this is the end of the video. We have answered many questions, but there's still so much to tell you. So if you have any more questions about what it takes to run a sweeper brand, drop them in the comments down below and we'll make sure to answer them in the next video. And of course, please like, share and subscribe. Yes. Because it matters. It matters. It matters to us. <laughs> and now it's time to go. Bye. See you in the next video. <laughs>